Yes, some people do experience hair loss when taking the GLP-1 based medications. You're finally dropping weight, you're feeling amazing, and then boom. You look down at your shower drain and start to wonder, am I about to join Vin Diesel and Dwayne Johnson in the bald head club? And speaking as a card carrying member of that said club, I will tell you, it's not all that bad. There's a lot less expense from shampoo and conditioner and such like that. And we have way more confidence. So, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> But seriously, today we're going to be unpacking the drama when it comes to the GLP-1 medications and hair loss. What's actually going on, what's the science behind it, and what we can potentially do to manage it. So if you're clutching your hairbrush in fear, take a breath, we're going to dive in and go over all the things that you need to know. But before we dive in, don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you never miss out on more science-backed, no BS content on health, weight loss, and why balls can be beautiful. Now, as a quick aside, if you're one of my Canadian viewers, you're older than 18 years of age, and you're struggling with obesity or overweight and taking one of the anti-obesity medications such as Zepbound or Mojero, then you need to check out an app called Blue Charm. This app is rewarding individuals that are struggling with obesity and currently on anti-obesity medications for sharing their story in order to drive new clinical research. And best of all, when you download the app, complete one of their surveys, as a thank you, they're going to send you a $50 e-transfer. And the best part is that as one of my my viewers, you can use my code LYG4G8 and you can get an additional $5. That's going to be about $55 for 30 minutes of your time. So not only are you getting paid, but sharing your story helps to drive important research around obesity care. So if you're Canadian and over the age of 18, check out Blue Charm today, sign up and start completing their surveys. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the science and what is going on with hair loss and the GLP-1 based medications. And spoiler alert, it's not that these medications are waging a war on your hair follicles like some Marvel villain with a personal grudge. There's a few different culprits that may be leading to the shedding and I'm gonna go through each one. The first one is called telogen effluvium or as I like to call it, your hair's panic mode. So here's the deal. Your hair, as it grows, it goes through various cycles. We have the growth phase, which is called the anagen phase. We have the rest phase, which is called the telogen phase. And the shedding phase is called the exogen phase. And when your body goes through a major stressor, like losing a large amount of weight or a sharp decrease in nutrients and calories, it's going to freak out. And what it's going to do is it's going to shove a whole bunch of your hair follicles and hair into the shedding phase. Now, the reason that occurs is because your body, when it's stressed out or panicked, it says hair, it's not essential. We've got organs and other things to keep alive and you growing a nice luscious locks is not a priority right now. And from experience, I know nobody is dying with less hair. They're just maybe a bit inconvenienced when it's a little cold out. So the translation here is that you're not going bald. Your hair and hair follicles are just throwing a bit of a tantrum because they're stressed out. Now, the second thing that could be occurring is you might be experiencing nutrient deficiencies. You see, when you're eating less and you're losing weight, you may not be getting adequate amounts of protein, zinc, vitamin D, biotin, and so on, all the nutrients that are necessary for good solid hair hair growth. And again, your body is not making your hair a priority and thus if those nutrients are in low supply, it's going to prioritize them for the more important organs and things and not keeping your hair nice and luscious. The third thing that can sometimes happen is hormonal changes. Rapid weight loss can sometimes throw off thyroid function as well as testosterone and estrogen levels, all of which play a role in managing hair health. And if you had some underlying hormonal condition, going on a GLP-1 medication and losing a lot of weight could suddenly unmask that hormonal issue. And the question we all want to know is this permanent? The good news for a vast majority of people, it is temporary. Once your weight stabilizes, once you're getting enough protein and the necessary nutrients that you need or potentially fix the hormonal imbalances, everybody will come back to status quo, get things back online and get your hair into a normal growth cycle again. But it can take a long time for that to start kicking in and occurring, usually in the range of about three to six months. But if your hair loss lasts beyond a year and nothing is really happening, then you should probably follow up with your care team in order to possibly see a dermatologist or the necessary professional that can help you out in that regard. 
as there might be something else that's going on there. Now, a quick question for you. Are you tired of the confusion and frustration that comes with weight loss? Do you want real science-backed strategies that actually work? If so, then you should sign up for my Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. This is your go-to resource for expert insights, live coaching, as well getting all the up-to-date information and the latest and greatest when it comes to the new GLP-1 medications that are coming to market. And best of all, you're going to be joining a supportive community of like-minded individuals that get it, they're not going to judge you, and they're there to support and help you along your journey. So if you're ready to start transforming your health and and losing weight for good, then you definitely need to check out Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. The links and everything that you need are all down below, and I can't wait to see you there. All right, let's talk about damage control and prevention. First and foremost, we want to avoid crash dieting or any kind of extreme restriction. Yes, if you have a lot of weight to lose, you can lose weight more rapidly, but on average, losing about 0.5 pounds to 2 pounds per week is a good amount of weight loss to be going for each and every week. Trying to supercharge your weight loss is a really great way to supercharge hair loss. The next thing, if I haven't said this enough, is you need to make sure you're eating enough protein. Hair is 90% keratin, which is a protein, and therefore low protein equals weak and brittle hair. And so you want to be aiming for at least 80 to 100 grams of protein per day. That's probably going to be a good starting point, but you're likely going to need more, especially if you're doing any kind of resistance training. The next thing we want to look at is we want to check in with your nutrients. Are you getting all the necessary things that you need, in particular the B vitamins, protein, vitamin D, zinc, and so on and so forth, all the big superstars that are gonna help you in maintaining and keeping good healthy hair. Next up, and this should go without saying, we wanna be kind to our hair. This is gonna be things like ditching the tight ponytails or brushing very aggressively, trying to use gentle shampoos and maybe going for a scalp massage or two. As well, avoid any kind of harsh chemical treatments. Not going for that platinum blonde look is not the way to go right now. Now, if you're experiencing some hair loss already, Rogaine can be a great option to help out. It can help with hair regrowth, but be sure to talk to your doctor about it. And the last thing is staying hydrated and sleeping well. Because when you're dehydrated and you're stressed out, you're gonna get brittle hair. Okay, now if you want a deeper dive into why some people lose more hair than others and some pro-level strategies that can help you to manage and prevent hair loss, well, you need to sign up and become one of the OG members of my YouTube channel because that is gonna give you exclusive access to the premium extended version of this video. And in that version, we're gonna be talking about whether your hair loss is something simple and we just need to make a small tweak or change, or if it's part of something bigger that might be going on. We're gonna review some of the advanced treatment options beyond basic nutrition. As well, I'm gonna give you the supplements that I recommend in order to keep good, healthy hair. So to unlock all the above and get the full breakdown, hit that join button down below and sign up to become one of my OG members today or you can also check out the video on my Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. Again, the links for everything you need are all down below. All right, my friends, GLP-1 hair loss is a real thing, but it's not the end of the world. Now, drop a comment below. Have you been dealing with hair loss while on a GLP-1 medication? What's been your experience so far? Let's start a conversation. Drop the comments down below. Now, to wrap things up, I just want to say I get it. Losing hair while trying to lose weight seems like a pretty cruel trade-off. But the good news is, it's usually temporary and there's a lot that you can do about it. And this isn't about vanity, this is about feeling like yourself again. Alright, that is it and that is all my friends. Don't forget to check me out on my other channels, at the official Dr. Dan. As well, go and check out the Blue Charm app. As well, check out my Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub for your guide to expert insights as well as joining an amazing group of people that can help you along your weight management journey. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep getting science-backed, no BS content from yours truly. And please, always remember, it is the small tweaks that are going to lead to those massive peaks.